Things are almost back to normal in South Park after police say someone suffering a mental health crisis barricaded themselves inside a gas station. Queen City News now brought you this breaking news this morning. As SWAT responded, the roads were blocked off for hours. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger is live in South Park with the details. And Derek, so that roadblock caused a big headache this morning. What can you tell us? Uh, yes, and there's at least somewhat of a headache right now. You might see some of the police tape uh, right behind me. This is the Circle K where it all happened this morning. Uh, police still on scene kind of trying to process the scene here as far as their investigation is concerned. But the roadblock here, uh, the roadblock this morning, you can see how busy it is right now. But the morning rush hour traffic here, it was absolutely horrendous because this whole area was blocked off. You have offices, you have restaurants, you have a lot of things around here. Everything came to a halt this morning. It can really be any time of day that you will see traffic along Fairview Road in South Park just going by and sometimes backed up to no end. But it is definitely strange to see it blocked off. Traffic that would be normally bumper to bumper replaced with cop cars, SWAT vehicles and a tense situation. But it just seemed very quiet. It was really quiet <laughs> and very surreal. <laughs> For Ann Menz, right across the street from her was all the commotion. CMPD says early Monday morning, a person came into the Circle K at the corner of Sharon and Fairview and was suffering some sort of mental health crisis. The standoff, which involved SWAT, lasted around four hours. At one point, we heard a blast in the area before someone started talking to the person inside by a megaphone trying to get them out. They eventually did. Our cameras caught someone in handcuffs surrounded by police. Some were watching from their doors as this was all happening. Those who could get in, that is. Business here really did come to a halt. This crossroads that uh, at Sharon and Fairview Roads is one of the uh, highest volume of traffic. Mm -hmm. Monday morning, um, that's when people go to work. And again, it's not just shopping. It's, it's office space, restaurant space. The work week off to a shaky start. Those who could get in here were the lucky ones, but many could not get any major work done as everything was happening for hours. It was a scary situation. That was intense. But now everyone dropping by is asking and wondering, and likely, at least for the moment, trying to stay out of the way. I do still feel like that the shopping center is probably going to be avoided for the most part just because of the unknown of the situation. Now, we did mention hearing something uh, in, akin to a blast that happened this morning. This was right before everything ended. We still do not have a, an explanation for that, and we're still trying to work and find out. I've reached out to CMPD, tried to get an answer, have not yet received a response. We also do not know yet whether or not that person that was suffering that mental health crisis has been arrested or will be facing charges. We'll let you know when we find that information out. Now we're live in South Park. Derek Dunn, Queen City News.